Hey there YouTube pipe smokers. Uh, this is a, another pipe tips video I'm going to do. Today I've got my Bari O2. It's a bowl shape. Just a little bend. And in it I'm smoking Stokefy's Scandinavic Full Aroma. One of those Twins I just recently picked up. Today, thought I'd do a quick video on how to pack a pipe. I think probably a lot of new smokers, at least some I've run into, will probably a lot of times pack the pipe too tightly. And there's been other videos, who was it I saw? Somebody did a video where he drew a diagram and showed why you shouldn't do that. Anyway, there are a lot of videos out there. There's the videos on the Frank method, videos on the three-step method. Especially when you're looking at those, a lot of these videos, and probably maybe a little bit more the three-step method videos. What you can't tell somebody is how tightly to pack it. You can't, you can't feel the pressure, the right amount of pressure over a video. And so that's something you do just have to learn by experience. But, today I just wanted to do a quick video and talk about the differences in tobacco cuts and how that affects the pressure I think you need when you pack. So I've got three blends. The one I'm smoking right now, the Scandinavac Full Aroma. And... I don't know if this will help you see, but it's a pretty small cut, pretty thin ribbon. Hopefully you can see that thinner cut ribbon. Pretty small pieces. Not quite, but almost the kind of cut you might see in like a cigarette shag. Now I find in packing this type of tobacco cut, you want a little bit firmer hand than with some of the others. Um, so when you're doing your three-step, your, you know, like your baby bear, mama bear, daddy bear, whatever the three levels are, you, uh, overall in general, I'd want to pack that one tighter than I would certain other types of cuts. Next. Hopefully you can see this. It's Peterson's Hyde Park, another blend I got from Gary. And it's slightly larger. And I don't know if you can tell. But it looks like there's pieces of it that are basically just broken chunks of flake. Right here, for instance, at the tip of my finger. That tobacco is going to be a lot denser. And so I find when you pack that type of tobacco, you need to use a much lighter hand. You don't want to shove it in there. You want to pack it a bit more loosely. Um, and I also find the same is true 
with a couple of blends that I've smoked. I haven't smoked a lot, but a couple I've done from Cornell and Deal. So you will have to experiment to get the you know the right pressure, but maybe not all their blends, but the ones I have have got Morley's Best right here. And I've also smoked their Milk and Honey. I don't know if you can see, but it's a thicker cut ribbon, chunkier cut, some bigger pieces of tobacco. And I find just like with a broken flake that's not completely rubbed out into ribbons, the same thing applies. You want to pack those a little bit looser to give them more air to burn. Because when those edges of those flake pieces or those big chunks start to light, sometimes they expand. And you're not going to get the same burn quality in your bowl if you pack those too tightly. Same applies when you're using your tamper. I try to tamp as lightly as possible. You can always go back and tamp more, but you can't very readily untamp and loosen the tobacco back up in the chamber. So, just to review, thinner ribbons, springier, looser tobacco, pack it a little more firmly. But when you get those blends that are a chunkier, thicker ribbon cut, have uh, been rubbed out from flakes where you've still got a bunch of the tobacco pressed together, in those sorts of situations, use a little bit less of a firm pack. And that'll help your uh, bowl burn well. Help you enjoy the tobacco more. So that's what I found to be the case. In my experience, you will have to experiment some on your own. Pipe smoking is not easy. It's not like a cigarette where you just light it and go. Cigars even easier than a pipe as well. You know, you kind of have to nurse it a little bit. It takes a little longer to light, but usually you don't have to relight it. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, have fun smoking. Tell me what you think. If you've got affirmation of this method. You found the opposite to be the case. You know, chime in and uh, hope I can help you out. Thanks.